What influences our eating without us even realizing? Here at the legendary Food and Brand Lab, Brian Wanzink and his team We've made a career out of studying our eating habits. We eat with our eyes and not with our stomach. It's about uh, the order of the food, the size of plates, the size of the serving spoon. Color and the size of your plate can help you lose weight. With a bigger plate and a bigger spoon, ate 56% more food. How much white pasta was dished onto the red plates? You both took about 80 grams. White plates? Totally different story. It's the same size plate. What happened? You just served almost 50% more. What uh, visual cue will, will do to your perception of flavor? Right here we have kind of raspberry or cherry looking jello, which actually is lemon. Seeing that red is going to make people taste what they see. This one's cherry. It's really sweet. Like cherry flavor? Either berry or cherry. <laughs> the Food and Brand Lab at Cornell University. It's like a Hollywood hidden camera studio serving delicious culinary delights. Professor Brian Wansink has students eating, well, dog food. Insects is food. The example we're giving is crickets. A tablespoon of fish sauce. Sweet and salty, this is good. I don't like vanilla. I don't like this. <laughs> what is that? Is that like no. chicken milk? What is this? <laughs> So what can get people to try dog food? Apparently, the word organic. It tastes like milk, but it's still disgusting me just because of the color. <laughs> I feel my mouth wanting to reject it before it even gets in there. There's like an aftertaste to it. It looks a little bit strange. That perception are tremendous drivers of whether we're going to like a food or we're not. I love that you bring science to a process that's an enigma to so many of us. And you make it easy for us to do the right thing. Thanks Thank for all you. your work. Thank you.